Actually, when I formed the party, I was not serious. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I was not serious. Yeah. And I didn't know this animal called the politics, called mobilizing, going up and down. No, 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 no. Yeah. I didn't know those things. Ne? But now I can say, no, I have arrived. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of our platform, Sunny World Engage, where we engage people of interest in the South African public life. And today, our esteemed guest is one of the most interesting people in South Africa, Dade Etlawud Mutsweneng, a leader of the African content movement. Dade Mutsweneng, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you very much. I'm ready for engagement. Ah, we like people like you. We engage yeah. here. We don't interrogate. We don't yeah. antagonize. So maybe as a standard, what have you been busy with in recent times? I'm undercover. Hmm. I'm busy building my party, uh, ACM African Content Movement. I believe that uh, my party is growing very well, especially in Maludiapofung. Remember, Maludiapofung is my home, is where I come from, is where I went to school. I grew up there, and uh, people love me in that area. So I'm there, I'm building my party. And I think. Uh, I'm the biggest party now, as we are speaking. In uh, in, in Maruti, uh, when it comes to membership. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's start it back. That you, uh, you you seem to love your your hometown. Many know it as Kwakwa. Maybe just growing up, what type of upbringing did you have? What kind of a home did you come from? Hey man, I come from a mud home. I come from a shack home. I come from uh, 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 from street. Yeah, those are the real uh, uh, issues where I come from because uh, uh, I was not with my parents when I grew up. I was staying with uh, 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 some families or uh, uh, relatives. Uh, but when I was doing standard three, I decided to go and stay alone. That is my life. And I look after myself from standard three. Mm. Where were your parents? Uh, you know, for the first time, when my mother knew me, uh, I think he was told by other people who saw me on television. Uh, remember there was Chappie's Little League at that time. And I was uh, employed there by the late Shapani Masitenyani. And people said, hey, we saw someone, seems as is your son, Claudi. Then I received some, uh, a visit from my uncles. I chased them away at school because I didn't know them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know them. Uh, but I believe everything happens for a reason. Mm. Uh, uh, maybe... The way I grow up, uh, that's why I'm strong. I have that thing. If you follow me, you'll know that I'm very decisive. You know, the brain is sharp. So I think that I did very well. I mean, if I look myself at uh, that age and uh, during those days, I negotiated with the principal of the school. Uh, because I was in charge for the cast, you know, cast is like your, 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 your theater, mm. but school, school theater, mm. where I was writing dramas, uh, we call it cast, where uh, students, they were playing, even teachers. Uh, sometimes people don't believe that uh, after school, I will go and uh, 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 play at different schools and I will be in charge for my teachers because they were playing in my cast. Uh, when I'm there, they know I'm in charge. When they're in class, they're in charge, but in my space, I'm in charge. Oh, yeah. now that explains your confidence. I mean, you're one of the most confident people I've ever seen. You, you know, you can't survive in life oh. if you don't have confidence, you don't believe in yourself. You must have all these things. You know, I mean, you can imagine someone without metric. Uh, 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 leading an organization like SABC without metric, 
and who appointed me people with uh, degrees doctors lawyers and then they just decided to leave other people and come and 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 and, and, and choose me to to lead such big uh, organization but it's because of my hard work and passion and believe in that confidence that you are referring to oh. And uh, how, how come you didn't uh, finish my trip? Seems like we're very engaged in the schooling system, uh, as it were, as you were saying, even negotiating with principals and stuff like that. What 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 is it that stopped you from crossing that uh, line of the metric and go to the other side? No, there were two issues that I had to choose. I had to choose uh, money. I had to choose a uh, school. I decided to choose money. Because remember, without parents, without anyone who's looking after you, taking care of you, I was taking care for myself. So when I, I became a freelancer at the SABC for a, a television at a certain point, uh, I was uh, recruited to be a freelancer uh, uh, at radio. So most of the time I was not spending time in class. I was spending time freelancing. So I just uh, go to, 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 to write exams during exams, but I was not at school most of the time. Hmm. And the issue of your metric, I mean, going back to the former public protector, Tudima Dunn said, when uh, this issue became a big issue, have you ever before that claimed to have metric? Why was it an issue? Uh, Tudima Dunn said I was lying. You know, I know people regard truly as this uh, person uh, 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 with dignity, respect that I don't respect uh, 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 truly because what she did, it was evil because she knew that I did not lie on metric. In any case, remember to come to the conclusion that she lied about metric, you must get people who employed me mm. and people who employed me testify and said, no, actually we recruited Cloud knowing he doesn't have metric. You go to Adventlopers, you go to Pula Pula Mutibi, they will tell you the same story. The SABC people who know the story, they will tell you the same story. That I have never, never lied. But remember, there was motive. Remember, I was killing SABC. I was transforming it. And there were many forces against uh, what I was doing at the SABC. I believe that uh, it really was part of that also. Because uh, uh, you can see uh, 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 the, 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 the life of Tuli. So I don't want to say, but you can see the life of Tuli. Tuli was against that. Oh. So that's why she came with that uh, nonsensical uh, 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 report. And to show that uh, uh, even the police investigated the metric uh, issue, they could not find anything. They could, uh, I could not be prosecuted because the people know the truth that I have never never lied. Actually, I boost about not having metric and I'm very proud that I don't have metric because I have brain, I have everything. So I don't need any so-called qualifications because if you look at uh, uh, qualification, you compare me with people with qualification, I'm far better than those people. My brain is sharper than them. My vision is sharper than them. Everything that I do for me, I succeed. I turn things around. Did you take the report of Advocate Chubat for review at the time it was released? No, uh, I did not. And I will give you the reason why. Mm. The report of Tuliman Donsela, it was for SABC, mm. not for me. But you were implicated in it. I was implicated. No, I, I'm coming. I'm going to explain to, to, to you. I was implicated uh, 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 in, in, in that report. And then I consulted with my lawyers, including advocates. They said, no, but if you take the report for review, what are you taking? Because you, in that report, there are allegations, no remedial action against you. You can't take it at all for review. Ne? But I did at a certain point, I took it for review. The same issues that I'm talking about, the court says, no, but there are no remedial action against you. We don't know why you are here. Those are allegations. And those allegations, they were supposed to be proven by disciplinary hearing. 
Remember, I went for disciplinary hearing. I was cleared. They were proving that that uh, those allegations, demetric issues and other uh, issues, the, the, the advocate editing could not find anything wrong about uh, 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 what I did uh, at the SABC because the people who employed me came and gave uh, evidence. That's why I'm saying uh, truly was having a, 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 an evil uh, motives because if you come to Saudi, why don't go to Alvin Lopez who employed the guy who recruited me uh, uh, from uh, Free State from Guagua? Why are you not going to Pula who was the station uh, manager for the city FM and, and engage them? Because you need to get all information. Mm. So, but in short, uh, if if you read that uh, 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 the, 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 the 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 court, the court says no, there is nothing that uh, 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 actually can stand on me because there were allegations in that report. They were not conclusive. That's why there was no remedial action, which means what was supposed to happen. SABC to do their own investigation, take me to disciplinary hearing, which they did, they could not find anything. Oh, but the, the allegations were impugning on your dignity. Did you never think maybe of taking the person who authored the report uh, to court for a different, you know, a matter, a claim of defamation? Uh, don't you worry, my brother. It seems as if you, you, you are running with speed. Yeah. You see, the issue here, you must remember, I'm in courts. There is money involved. So the reason why I'm not taking other issues is because of money issue. Because I must uh, prioritize which issues I'm taking to court, which, which issues I'm not going to take to court. Uh, but rem re remember, as long as I'm alive, maybe I'll come to that uh, 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 decision when I'm in K financial. Mm -hmm. well, how was it uh, in the dreams when in growing up, having to fend for yourself? As you say, at, by standard three, you were already on your own. Uh, doing everything for yourself, feeding yourself, clothing yourself. How was it growing up, fending for yourself while those around you, I'm sure there were kids who came from homes that were better, well off, whose parents were teachers, nurses and stuff like that. I mean, that's the case in rural areas. And you were this odd one there to fend for yourself. How did you feel about that situation? No, I, I was good, my brother. You see, I believe that uh, as long as you, 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 you have brain, uh, 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 and your background should not decide uh, for your future. You must decide your future for your, you know, your yourself. Uh, you must know what you, you want in life. If you want good life, you'll get good life. If you want bad life, you'll get bad life. So I choose good life. Uh, uh, that's why even today, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. Oh. Yeah. Where did your love for broadcast or radio as it was, which is where you really rose to the top through your CDF app. Where did the love for broadcast come from? You know, at certain point, um, I was a captain of a soccer team. I was not a good player, but I was the captain because I can communicate. I can... Uh, uh, which uh, position uh, were you playing? Uh, 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 direct. Uh, I was playing number eight, okay. sometimes number two, yes, uh, right back. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, at certain point, the person who was the owner of the team left the team, and I took over the team. Now I was the chairperson of the team, which means from the, the young age, at that time I was still at school, I was running uh, 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 the, 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 the cast, I was running the team, the soccer team, so I was in charge from that uh, 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 age. And uh, even the team that uh, 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 I work with, uh, uh, I lead, all of them, they knew that, no, this one, I don't uh, think twice when I take decision. And it's either you are in or you are out. So that is how I have been uh, uh, growing. But actually, I'm very happy that uh, my parents could not look after me uh, because uh, I think if they did look after me, maybe I was going to be a different uh, a person. Uh, I think uh, everything happens for a good reason and it was a good reason that uh, no one was looking uh, after me when I was uh, growing up. That's why I'm able to do everything uh, for myself. Mm. So while you're running this soccer team, where does radio become a thing for you? 
You, you know, when we grow up, the only uh, uh, um, uh, 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 we didn't have I didn't have television. I could not watch television, uh, so I was listening to radio. No, you to your Sapani Masitanyani, your Tidiso de Barlo, you know, those uh, 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 presenters there during those days. And, and then during the match, sometimes I'll be a commentator, you know, at the clubs. Okay. Your store will be there without mic, without anything. That's why Tapan and Masitanyan and others, when they were trying to look for the students, for a Champions League, Little League, they went to the ground. Because some people said, hey, they are a young person who's doing this and that. And then I went for the auditions and then I was uh, uh, elected there to be uh, one of the person who will represent uh, SABC. Oh, how was your journey at the Lissidi FM? Wonderful. Mm. Uh, at Lissidi FM, now is where I excel. Mm. Because uh, I was there I was a journalist and I was given freedom to be a reporter. So I was reporting about sports, I was reporting about everything as a freelancer, you know, the report about politics and other, uh, 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 other, 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 other matters. And even during that time, I was special one because amongst all freelancers, you know, I was given a contract. I was the only person who was not uh, uh, being paid by commission. I was paid, I was having contract like permanent people. So during my end, when people uh, uh, complain about their, their stories and so on, me, I, money, money. Yeah. yeah. So I was given a contract yeah. when I was still a, a, a freelancer. I was working like a permanent uh, people, uh, 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 getting money like permanent people, but I was not. And I was the only one. Okay. And, and from that, you transition to management. How do you then, and when do you get to management at the city FM? No, to be a leader, my brother, remember, I think what people should look at is, uh, I have been a leader from young age. You know, to be a leader is not, you don't go to school to, to, to be a leader. You are born with it. So I'm born with, uh, 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 with uh, leadership uh, 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 skills. So um, when I came to the SABC, remember I was a very junior person like anyone when I was employed at the SABC. But for the first time, remember at that time, uh, 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 certain people, certain white people, uh, they were still believing that uh, 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 they don't recognize black people even in newsroom. When I arrived in newsroom, there was one person, a veteran, who was still working at the SABC. My first day I fought with white people in that newsroom. Because when, when I arrived, these guys, they were speaking Africans. And the SABC told me that, no, when you go there, the language is English. But when I arrived there, these guys, they were in a meeting, diary meeting. They were speaking uh, 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 Africans. I decided to speak uh, uh, Sotho. We could not hear each other. Yeah. No, because uh, they don't understand Sotho. They can be they understand uh, 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 Africans, but I did it purposely. Yeah. To show them that, no, I have arrived. The newsroom will change. And at that time, it was war. The same Alvin Clopers who recruited me from Kwakwa is the one who came because they reported me to head office to say, hey man, this young man that you have taken here is not cooperating. Uh, and then Alvin came, listened to stories. I said, no, how can I speak Africans when you said these guys, all of us were going to speak English. I, I, I talk my own language. They speak Africans, I speak uh, Sesotho. So we could not find each other. It's me. And that's what elevated your profile within the city FM. Yes, within, we, 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 within the, 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 the city FM, but also I'm not the yes man. You see, if you give me instruction, I must believe in those instructions. If I don't believe in those instructions, I don't do it. Oh. Yes.
And how do you move from the city of M to Auckland Park? Look, during the time when I was at the city of M, remember I was a uh, 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 promoted as a producer. At a certain point, I was a senior producer. At a certain point, I was executive producer. Uh, when I was the executive producer, that is where now I feel that now I can lead. Because as executive producer, you are in charge for all your current affairs mm. shows at the, at, at the, at the, at the SABC. And I, I have been working with uh, uh, the executive producer because most of the time I was acting, he was sick. So I took over. And then what one uh, 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 person who was in charge said to me, no, man, because this person is sick, we must appoint you. I said, no, the man is sick. And the man is going to retire soon. I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to act. And when the, uh, when the man came, I talked to him. I said, hey, you know, that person said, no, actually, he wants to remove you. You know, uh, I must take over, but I refused. Because I believe that uh, 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 when I work with you, I can't sabotage you in your absence. Mm. So oh. I must be loyal to you because in any case, I report to this man. I could not work against the person that I, I, I report to. And then when he left the SABC, I went for interviews. It was very interesting in those interviews when I became executive producer. Because I was asked by one uh, person in that uh, panel that I don't have metric. So why should they consider me? Because I don't have metric. And then I asked uh, why I'm here. If you know that I don't have metric, and you want metric, why are you calling me for this interview? You see, I think it's a stupid question. You should not ask me such a question because for me to be here, I qualified from where I'm, 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 sp I'm, I'm spending it, it was war. Some people had to come in to say, to come us uh, yeah. uh, 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 down because the men knew that I don't have metric and the men knew that I was shortlisted to be part of, 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 of people who are going to be interviewed. And then I was very angry. I said, no, don't ask me this nonsensical uh, question. But also I asked him, I said, no, the whole panel, do you want metric or, or do you want someone who's going to deliver what the SABC is looking for? If you can give me an answer. And then a, a, a guy from HR said, no, we want someone who's going to deliver. So that it's me, no one else who can do this. And my current affair shows they were the biggest in the CDFM. And all radio stations, especially the morning show, I was always number two to Ukozi FM. Others, I was always number one. So I was beaten by only Ukozi FM. Oh. And when, when, the first time you moved to, to Auckland Park, what was the first position you occupied there? I remember I was dismissed uh, 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 when I was the executive producer for the city FM because my boss at that time and the SABC uh, 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 because I was a freelancer so there were many freelancers at the SABC that we we recruited and they were starting to work at uh, 3 a.m. in the morning 3 a.m. in the morning you don't have transport the policy of the SABC says, no, you can't give them transport. So I decided to sign off transport for them. Because how do you employ people? But these people, they don't come to work because they don't have transport. So I was charged for that. And I was also charged for when my boss was not there. Now there is an editor. Mm -hmm. I gave people salary increment. <laughs> <laughs> when you didn't have the powers to do so. The worker. No, 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 no. I have the powers because I was acting. Yeah. When you act, you, you act with... Or you authority. exercised your acting. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so, so I give people a, a, a salary increment because I was not happy about the, 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 the money that people were, were, were getting at the SABC. I also uh, uh, converted them as freelancers to permanent. You. So when the man came, everything has changed. So he was very angry. 
And then I, I was charged, so and I was dismissed. Uh, but I, I came back because um, the audience went down in my absence. And then when I came back again, I did very well. And then I was approached by the late story, so I'm going to come and assist him to uh, uh, transform the SABC because I have transformed small unit that I was uh, 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 in charge for. So they realized that I'm capable of uh, 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 leading. So they asked me to come uh, when I was in Johannesburg. When I see these lights that I normally don't know, I don't, have never seen them. I uh, China was moving. I was flying. Yeah. What did where did you have your first uh, contact, so to speak, with the political leadership? I mean, I ask this question because during your time at the SABC, you were highly associated with uh, ANC leadership. Uh, maybe it be it wrongly or rightly, but it did appear that you had some form of political leadership. What ANC leader did you ever uh, come across before you occupied the position of CEO at the SABC? No, remember I was a journalist, so I interact with uh, different uh, politicians from different uh, 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 political parties, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 even uh, uh, white uh, uh, people, I interact with them from different parties. Um, mm. I, I work also in a former homeland, mm. Guago. Mm. I interact with politicians there because they were politicians. There was a man called uh, Dr. T.K. Mubedi, uh, uh, the former prime minister of that uh, 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 homeland. Uh, I also admire him. Uh, honestly, I don't want to lie because I think the man has done well for uh, 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 at that time, better than even uh, what people are doing uh, today. So I interact with uh, many people. I interact with... Uh, and Mandela and, and many others. I mean, I can mention, but all of them, most of them, I know them. Did you have the political backing of former President Zuma? Because it was during his time in office that you 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 really were at your most powerful at the SABC. I have been powerful. Yeah, no, but I'm saying you reached your peak at the SABC. No, 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 no. That peak, it was not anyone was, if, 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 if at that time, Kalma Matante would be the president. I was still going to be powerful hmm. because I'm powerful myself. Hmm. And I will tell you why. So it had nothing to do with President Zuma. It's nonsensical hmm. to say I uh, because of, of my connection with Zuma. Zuma know nothing about me at the SABC, about my growth within the SABC. No, he knows nothing about that. I, I, I work hard, my brother. No one, if you have a, a, a brain, you want someone who will deliver. Uh, who will say you can't appoint cloud? I mean, I, I have a, a proven record that if you want someone who will take decision, if you want someone who will deliver, it's cloud. The SABC bought, believe in me. Zuma didn't know that I, I was even here at a, a, a head office. He knew me as a journalist, not as the CEO. As a COO. He just read like anybody who hear that I'm the COO, but I met him when I was the COO of the SABC and other people like your Helen Zill, I met many people, uh, 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 but even Zuma could not tell me what to do. Even the Tuli House could not tell me what to do. Did they ever try the Tuli House to make you take political instruction? Yeah, some of the people tried, but you know, I listened to myself. I don't listen to other people. When I take decision, I must own up. So, and in any cases, it's not literally house. Many politicians, they try that, but they know me, I am very firm. And uh, 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 what I believe, I do what I believe. I don't do what other people think I should do. Well, I'm, I'm fascinated by this story of where your, your, your concern over worker issues started, started when you were in the FM already, but that's what you were known for even in Auckland Park, you converted people's contracts for uh, fewer years to more years, made some permanent, increased uh, salaries. What what drives that? What What is it that you, you know, you sort of appear like a unionist 
Have you ever been a member of a union? <laughs> no, 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 no. My heart is good. Yeah. You see, when you are a leader, if the SABC take care of me, they were taking care of me. All of you, you know that. They were paying me very well. So what about people that report to me? I can't watch and say, no, these people are fine. I know they are not fine. I had to take decision to make sure that uh, I pay them well. And the reason why I pay people very well is because happy people, happy workers, they will give you results. Mm. The reason why today you have all these uh, uh, people marching, fighting for, I don't understand why uh, 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 companies or government, they don't pay people well. I mean, you work as a, as a, as a teacher example or a police. You go to Machones, but you are working. You go to a bank to, to, to borrow money. For what? Because you are working. I believe that people must be paid well. And people must work hard also. They must deliver so that the results are there. Like SABC example. I converted many people. I gave people a, 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 a contract those who didn't want to be converted. They want to remain freelancers. I said, no, okay, it's fine, but you must be on a three-year contract so that we sustain uh, uh, the SABC because you, you, I, I, if you are uh, freelancer, you know they can get rid of you today. You fight with your boss, tomorrow you are out. But I could not allow that. But for me, I think I have a good heart and I, I care for workers. You see, in South Africa, People are not being paid. You work, you work, but you find that actually the companies or government, they are benefiting, but you are not benefiting anything because you struggle to look after your family. So I am a person who believe that uh, uh, money must go out and pay people accordingly. Mm -hmm. Capitalists would argue against that and say, but you don't just make it pay. You must also check the balance sheet of the company and many argue that you are the one who collapsed the financial position of the SMBC. How do you respond to that? You, what are you saying about that? Because I don't want you to listen to propaganda of other people. Yeah. What do you know about it? No, no, I know that you paid workers well. I know that SMBC, someone was doing well, but it, okay. it is no longer doing well. No, no, let, let, let me tell you. Remember when I became acting CEO of the SMBC? Example, the SABC, they were around the 4 billion revenue. When I started acting, I took it to 5 plus billion revenue. When I left SABC, it was 8 billion, 0.9. So, and why 8 billion, 0.9? Is because I was paying people very well. The workers sweat and work hard and generate revenue. I agree with you that uh, people will say, but uh, 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 the company, it must have more sustainable financial. You see, the SABC was more sustainable because of what? They were happy workers at the SABC. Remember, during my time at the SABC, have you ever heard the unions complaining? Have you ever heard that uh, uh, during uh, 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 salary negotiations, uh, people will take a uh, 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 month negotiating? Negotiating what? Because you know that uh, uh, when you go for negotiations with the unions, you can afford 8%. Why do you want to start from 3% or 5%? What we have is 8%. So when I came to SABC, I changed the mindset of people uh, uh, trying to negotiate from 5%, uh, uh, including the union say, saying they want 15%. When you know that is not going to happen. Even management, when they know that they will be able to pay 8%, but they negotiate from 3% and then they go up, up. It's a waste of time. And actually it shows that there is no leadership if you, you do that. Just go to people, be honest, show them the books, the company is here. If you give you more than this, uh, uh, this is not sustainable because now, after two years, we are going to retrench you. People are very reasonable workers. In any case, I was more famous than the unions at the SABC. All people know that. Oh, in terms of the CEOs uh, that you worked with as COO, 
who would you say was the most resistant to your ideas? Like the one that made your blood boil if you had the power you were fed? Uh, uh, who? So I'm saying among those CEOs that you served with, which one would you say, if I had the power to fire this one because he is resistant to my ideas? No, 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 no. All people of, of, of the SADC, including the board, they are, agree with me because I was sharper. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember anyone and disagree with me. If you, you check the minutes of the SADC, I mean, 70% is my contribution and those, my contribution were implemented by the SADC. James Akuma, you are very fond of him. Why? You see, James Aguma was working for uh, AG Auditor General. So remember, when when I came, there were many problems about uh, problems about governance and so on and so on. But you also have people with expertise within the SABC. But people who, who work mostly for your KPMG, they were not having information about government, how government operate, how AG deals with issues. So we had to try to get someone from uh, AG. And the team interviewed James. I was not there. They interviewed James uh, and other people, and they recommended James to me. And then I appointed James to become the, the person who was in charge for all governance in my office. And then because he was also excelling in his work, the SABC decided to appoint him as the CFO of the SABC. Mm. You almost always appeared to be more powerful than a CEO at the SABC was that the true reflection of what the power dynamics were in place? <laughs> no, I, I believe that, uh, example, if international broadcasters they were looking for someone to come and address them, they didn't want to uh, invite the CEO, they invite me as the CEO because people knew. For me, it's yes or it's no. You see, that's why even when it comes to your sports rights, you can ask your Danny Jordan, you can ask uh, 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 whoever in 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 in, in, in sports uh, uh, arena, they will tell you, I don't negotiate for an hour because I know what I want. You know what you want, so I don't want us to waste time uh, discussing because we're going to lie to each other. So I'm, I'm a person who is very decisive. It's either yes or no, and then we close the, the shops. Oh, you are accused of having sold the, the SABC archives for a song to multi-choice. Is that true? Who, who is saying that? No, I'm saying among the controversies that you faced, there was a whole issue. In fact, just tell us about the archives too. No, the SABC has already cleared the matter. Hmm. Remember, they went to parliament they said there were no archives that were sold by SABC or by Saudi. So people who were doing that, they were just trying to tarnish my good uh, uh, name, my integrity, my dignity. So they, they were trying to tarnish me, but uh, there is nothing that my choice uh, uh, has when it comes to archives of the SABC. There are no archives that were sold were sold to the SABC. So the archive of the SABC are still firmly within the hands of the SABC. SABC. And do you believe they are being used rightly? For instance, I mean, if you check the content of the old shows that were very popular, I see some of them now are re-imaging at platforms like uh, Netflix and stuff like that. Is the SABC making any money out of it? No, remember, when I came with Enco, the reason was to make sure that uh, uh, we we digitize that old content so that uh, we can generate revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and multi-choice did also pay for digitizing uh, uh, such uh, uh, content uh, uh, within the, the, the SABC. So um, I think we still need to, because it is our heritage, you know, those old stories, they are our heritage, which we should uh, uh, be very jealous about such stories and we should play those stories so that our children can see uh, uh, and, uh, our, our history. The, the money that the court said you must pay back, that was paid to you as a bonus. Uh, I remember last time there was a bit of, you know, resistance from your side or you believe that you don't owe SABC a cent. How far is that matter? Remember, 
I went to Supreme Court of Appeal mm. to appeal and they dismissed my appeal. I went back for reconsideration. They did reconsider the matter. Uh, we are just waiting for the date for the matter to sit. Uh, and I believe that the SABC, they don't have any case on that matter because I was paid the money that I raised myself. I raised the money for SABC from a private entity to assist the SABC so that the SABC can uh, uh, run its own uh, 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 affairs. Uh, it was not money from the SABC. The money was paid after I came with money. The SABC decided to recognize my good work and said, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to give you a certain percentage, which they did pay a certain percentage. And then because of pol politics and people who are clueless, who doesn't understand the, all these things or have their own agenda, they decided to stop the outstanding uh, 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 amount now and also take me to court so that they can regroup uh, the money that the SABC paid uh, to me. But the fact of the matter is it was not money from the SABC. Oh. You've since moved on from the SABC to form your own political party, the ACM African Content Movement. Um, how would you gauge its performance so far since you formed it? Actually, when I formed the party, I was not serious. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was not serious. Yeah. And I didn't know this animal called the politics, called mobilizing, going up and down. No, 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 no. Yeah. I didn't know those things. Ne? But now I can say, no, I have arrived. Yeah. Yes, because uh, now uh, I had to sit down and, and, and analyze everything and check uh, 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 for me to be stronger what what I need to do. And I came with strategy uh, 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 now to focus at home in Maludia Pofun. Uh, and I realized that uh, actually my party is more stronger and growing in Maludia Pofun. Uh, example, other parties, they are afraid to go to stadia even the ANC in that Maluti Apofung area. Uh, they went to a multi-purpose war, uh, uh, I think last week. I went there in that, uh, in that uh, multi-purpose and then I feel that multi-purpose. Now I think that the test was there. Now on the 18th of November, I'm going to feel put at Shava Stadia and people will be shocked. My party is growing because people know what I stand for and they believe in me and I think my party is going to do very well. What does your party stand for in simple terms? In simple terms, the issues that we have been discussing, uh, the workers, uh, 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 poverty, those are the issues that I don't want to see. Uh, I don't believe in manifest because uh, you, you know people who went to school sometimes they think uh, 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 we are not clever enough because what is manifesto? And others, they are saying they have better manifesto uh, more than others. That is nonsensical because for me, uh, uh, all of us, we want to break. All of us, we want uh, uh, services, your water, electricity. We want to proper uh, uh, roads. We want employment. So those are the issues. So people believe that when they play with English, they have arrived. And our own people of South Africa, they must wake up. Life is simple. What I stand for, I'm simple. I know what people want. Uh, 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 that is what I stand for. I know that uh, um, I'm not a believer that I must put the manifesto. My manifesto will be different. My manifesto, I will write manifesto after I have delivered. Mm. Savings delivered. Mm. That will be manifesto. For now, people who are talking about manifesto, they are dreaming. So you must do it and put your manifesto. This is what I have achieved. Now people are talking about failures. Don't be about failures. Because people of South Africa should not even vote 
after 29 years or 30 years when we are still suffering. And you know, my brother, I can tell you, in South Africa, there is no one who's going to change South Africa. It's only me. And I know people won't believe it, but reality is, if they don't vote ACM, they don't vote my party. And it's not my party who's going to deliver, it's me. Because sometimes people say, no, it's a party. No, uh, party is there, is the name, the person. If people uh, 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 go and vote, they must vote for a person. And no, that person is the leader of uh, uh, ACM or any party. But parties can't deliver. It's individual. I'm tested on uh, such a, a delivery and being decisive and, and having care for our own people. Oh, have you ever been a card carrying member of the ANC? No. Have you ever voted for the ANC? Several times. Uh, I think, uh, yes, I have been voting for ANC. Wait no. No no. Other Why do you think they lost it? Why did you not join them instead of following your own party? How, how can how can I I, I I join the ANC when the ANC removed me at the SABC, when the ANC and the DA uh, 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 they were against the changes that I was bringing at the SABC? How can I go and 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 and, and, and join them? I can't. Would you go into a coalition government with the ANC? I don't want to talk about coalition, my brother. Yeah. I'm busy building my party. So I don't want to talk about other parties because it's like you're at your house, uh, at your home and your family, you look next door. I don't look next door. For now, my focus is to build my party, is to contest elections. But I must be fair to you also and tell you the truth. I'm going to contest free state and national only. Because I want to build a foundation in my province. I want to build a foundation, especially where I come from, in Maludiapofu. And I believe if I, uh, if I do that, I'm going to be able to be a, a, a national parliament. I'm going to be in the free state. In the free state, I may even take the free state uh, over and run that uh, uh, province. Oh. Oh. Let's say people vote for... Uh, South Botswana to become president, you are inaugurated, you are the new president of South Africa. Immediately, what is it that you would, what is the first decision you would take? It's to create employment. You see, I don't believe that people must get grants. Actually, for me, people are getting grants because we don't have leaders. Certain people like you, people with disability, like one corner, one that them older, old people, those are people who must benefit from the grants. But people who are at the age where they could work, they must work. The role of government is to create conducive environment of creating employment. Where the government create employment, or private sector, creating employment. For me, I want to see people of South Africa working. I don't think people of South Africa, they are happy to be given everything for free. Your RDP houses and so on for free. I'm not a believer in that. Actually, I believe currently we have leaders who are destroying South Africa by not thinking how to resolve the issues of unemployment. Because when you talk about the poverty, what informs poverty is unemployment. So I want to see majority of people of South Africa working. You know, I want to see uh, 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 having firms, factories, all people of South Africa creating environment that is conducive for people uh, uh, to work. So we don't do that. We give people grants. So they are not working. So actually, we want these people to depend on, on, on government. And the reason for that also, uh, the way I see it, government, they want these people to vote for them. But they are destroying the South Africans. Because my brother, you know, most, um, I don't go to church most of the time, but I know even in the Bible, you must sweat, you must work. And people must believe in me because if 
I led from standard three. What will be difficult for me to change South Africa? Mm. I have changed my life. And I know the struggle of uh, 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 poverty. So I don't read books. I don't do research. I know uh, what we need to do in South Africa. So I'm saying I'm the only uh, person who, who can do that. In any case, I have shaken. I have shaken South Africa. You know, all of you. Even your media, you know I have shaken South yeah. Africa. Even your media space has shaken you. Yeah. Yeah, all of you, you know that. You, you know if I arrived, there will be a difference. And for me, it won't take long. Like this ABC, I was not telling people that I'm going to come with local content. I'm going to do it. I was implementing and defend after implementing. So I will do the same thing. Oh. I know you, you don't like these educated terms, but if you were to describe your ideological leaning, are you a communist, are you a socialist, are you a capitalist, are you a pragmatist? What are you in these isms? My brother, you see, I'm an African. Mm. I, 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 I don't believe in this uh, nice ways of English. Uh, 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 and I don't want to be part of those things that you are talking about. Mm. I believe that what I stand for, I stand for people who are poorer because I come from okay. that background. Uh, I believe that I must not talk too much. I must deliver. I believe that, um, example, uh, people are complaining about COVID-19 that uh, no, we could not deliver because of qualified with 19 It's nonsensical. Because everything that happens gives you other opportunities to create something, to think. You know, you can't complain about, no, there was COVID. No, it can't be reason why the country is not doing well. Because if there is COVID, there are ways of coming with special innovation to counter that problem that we are facing. So I'm a person who have all the solution in life, like I did when I was there. Oh. So I believe in those uh, 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 things. Why did you not recruit your own boy, Ismael Khashoggi, when he was expelled from the ANC? He is just from his own party when you have a party and you guys come from the same province, share a constituency. Why did you not recruit him? My brother, when I came with my party, I did not come with my party to go and recruit other people uh, in other parties. I believe in me and I believe that people of South Africa are better than all these people combined. My brain is better than all of them combined. That's why I'm saying if they come to me and trust me and vote for Saudi, leave the metric. Because you can have degrees, you can be a doctor, you can have whatever. Those people are not going to be able to change South Africa. It's only me. Because, uh, and I'm not saying people, uh, my, my children, my, 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 my daughter has honors. My children, they are still at school, some of them. So I believe in education, but I don't want people to not to use brain because education is good, open doors for you, but what is important is in your head. Oh. Talking about your children, they seem to be very fond of you. Tell us a bit about your family life in terms of the family that you run yourself and your children. No, look, uh, my children are my friends. Yeah. Those are the people that I spend time with them. Those are the people that I discuss all issues, uh, 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 life issues with them, and I love them. They know that. Tell me how many kids do you have? Three. Uh, my, 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 my first born is Lerato, second born is Lebu, he's a boy, and then the last born is uh, Amhiz. So those are, are my children, and I'm a single parent, and I look after them. I think I'm better than many women when it comes to children. Is it? Yeah, I look after my children. Can you change nappies? I do everything. Yeah. No, no, I do everything, yeah. my brother. Yeah, they will tell you I do everything. Now I have a grandson. I do the same thing that you are talking about. Mm. Yes. And, and what, what, what sort of, how did they take the things that were being said about you, especially when you were at the SABC, all these controversial things that were said about you, did they get hurt? No. You see, 
they don't get hurt because they always see their father is not affected. You know, I think they can get hurt if they realize that, hey, this thing is affecting our father. So they realize that now I'm doing life. And I always uh, talk to them, don't care about what people are saying. Care about yourself. Like myself, I don't listen to what people are saying. If people are saying cloudy days, so not my business, it's their business. I don't care what people are saying about me, it's their business. I don't have time to talk about other people. I look after myself. Mm. Beyond uh, the political part that you run, do you have any other plans going forward as Cloud in terms Devil of what you want to do. You see, my plans, my brother, is uh, to be honest, is to is to contribute to build a better South Africa, to make sure that uh, there is difference. You know, when you are a leader, you don't complain. Like other people complaining about the why they can't deliver. I don't see the reason why people complain. You know when when you 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 you, you, you talk about the problems, because this is what is happening in South Africa. People are talking about the problems why they cannot achieve this and that and that. If you vote for such people, you are voting for a problem. How can a problem solve a problem? Because you are a problem for yourself. For me, in my life, when I see challenges or problems. I also have solutions and I come with solution to mitigate the so-called problems and move forward. So there are no problems. Problems is us people who can't think. Maybe as a, as a final uh, point that I'm mentioning, one of the biggest, uh, you know, talking points around your leadership, uh, you know, was the whole issue of local content, that probably one of your last decisions. At the SABC, where you pushed for more uh, music to be played on radio stations, for more content on TV to be local, for which you were ostracized for. But uh, years later, many stations, private stations that didn't play local content are doing it and even creating channels from the scratch. More urban radio stations that didn't play local music are doing so. Do you feel vindicated? Yes. And actually, because that is the role of the SABC, the SABC must play that role. And it is not maybe what I think. Even when you read the Broadcasting Act, you read the Constitution. Because when I said local content, I was also looking to cater for all languages. Remember, I was also coming with some channels to cater for such uh, uh, languages. But what is more important for me is people of South Africa must come first. You know, and we must believe that we are better than the Americans and the Chinese. Because I always have a problem where people of South Africa, uh, 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 and they will go and use China as a, their own benchmark. It's stupidity. Why can't China use you as a, as a benchmark, use South Africa? They are not using South Africa because South Africans, we don't want to think. We don't want to come with innovation. And because maybe we come from apartheid, that apartheid is still... Uh, sitting in our heads that uh, as a black people, we can't resolve the issues. We can. That is my belief. So that's why you pushed against the wave that was pushing back against the And there, those waves, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they were strong. Yeah. <laughs> but when I do it, I knew it is going to happen. I knew because if you change the lives of people you want to change, remember, you are also touching people who have interest. You know, you are touching their pockets. Because remember, I touch pockets because it means that if I'm saying 90% local content, I'm saying don't play uh, 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 American music or other countries' music. I'm saying uh, uh, local content. I'm saying the bold and the beautiful out. Let us, our own people, uh, 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 be creative uh, themselves so that we can create employment. So, and I touch uh, uh, many people uh, I don't know because even the ANC turned against me, uh, and 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 many South Africa, uh, not many South Africans, because many South Africans they do understand where I was coming from, and I think they still uh, 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 support that. Uh, like other a big broadcaster came to me to say thank you very much for SNC to get rid of you, because now we are excelling on local content and we are dominating the space. Is that much choice? Uh, uh,
Uh, uh, and so in other, <laughs> other broadcasters, yeah. you can take your own decision. True. Yes, yeah, your, 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 your own decision. Okay. And Dr. Soneng, thank you very much for availing yourself and uh, having this very delightful and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, nice conversation. We, we, it was a nice engagement. I truly enjoyed it. Yes, I, I like you because you engage you. Uh, I know sometimes I want tough people. Yeah. Because I'm tough. Even in interviews, I was saying to the lady, don't channel me, man. I'm pretty if I can come with yeah. something. <laughs> so thank you very much, my brother. Thank you so much. That was uh, Mr. Shaul Musuining, the leader of the African content movement and the former executive at the SABC. Join us next time when we have another person of interest. <laughs>